Hi, I'm Daniel de la Garza from EO Costa Rica. You're watching EO TV. Hi, I'm Randall Mauricio. And I'm Terry Apostle. Welcome to EOTV. And welcome to our first episode of 2011. Great start. No kidding. Mm -hmm. And it's sure to be a great year, so yeah. let's get started. Today we're taking you with us to Cape Town, South Africa, where our guest host, Amy Emden, has an exclusive look inside the 2010 EO Cape Town University. So without further ado, Amy, take it away. Hello and welcome to your exclusive peek into the 2010 Cape Town University. If you couldn't attend, you're in for a treat because we're here and you're not going to miss a moment. Let's go. My business is SalesProfs. It's a human resource company just to, for recruitment for salespeople in the business to business market. Great. And are you based in the Netherlands? We alone? are based in the Netherlands, yeah. We operate the, from the center of the Netherlands uh, throughout all of the Netherlands. How has social media impacted your business? Impacted, uh, influenced, it's, it's extreme. Uh, we are everywhere on the, on the social media. We're on LinkedIn, we're on the Facebook, we're on the Twitter. Uh, we get enormous response from that. And uh, my whole company, Everything I do in marketing is on social media. I never uh, do ads. And how do you measure the response? Well, people call us, uh, people uh, tweet us, people uh, respond on LinkedIn and things like that. And uh, all the candidates looking for a new job, uh, well, nowadays, 100% of all the candidates come in through social media or my own website. And how often do you update your accounts? Uh, every five, ten minutes. That's yeah, I do about two, three hundred tweets a day. It's, it's, it's for free and it's got a huge response. I mean, it's cool. Everybody should do that. You are doing a significant amount of um, Facebooking and tweeting. How do you know that you are getting reward for how much time you are spending doing that? I really often get this question and um, I also uh, always say, well, you drive around through the country, you three, four visits a day, or you speak to 10 people a day. I speak to 500,000 a day. So I don't care how much time it costs. Um, it's, that's, that's my work. I'm talking about sales, so that's my work. And that's why people respond. How has that volume of people that you are contacting through social media, how has that benefited your company? And can you give us some examples of that? Yeah, well, it's, it's not that only you contact people, um, you write about your company, you write, uh, write about your passion in, in mini blogs and blogs. And a uh, uh, cool thing is that uh, Google finds you on that stuff as well. So people who are looking for salespeople, people who are looking for a company to provide them salespeople, they look it up on the internet. And whatever they type in, guess what, my name pops up. So uh, then they can contact me to do a business. So that's the main thing. If you, if you talk a lot, it's, you, you've got real time, everything is real time right now. So you've got to be there 24 hours a day and, 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 and be in the spotlight with your business. Um, we, we do all sorts of things. We, do, uh, we test a car. that uh, have to do with recruitment, but salespeople drive cars, and they like cars, so I test the car for salespeople, and I put it on YouTube, and I put it on LinkedIn, and I put it everywhere, and then within a month, uh, you've got a thousand views. You've, you've got this great thing, it's free, you can talk to whoever you want, and you can specify uh, the group you want to talk to, and you can build your community, and if you have a community you can talk to, then you have a business. Thank you, Amy, for taking us on that exclusive tour. I'm sure it was a phenomenal event. Next up, we have a video from Jennifer Carroll, who is filming her webcast today with J&J &J on site at the Cape Town University. Take a look at this heartwarming video, and then we'll show you how you can get involved. We traveled down another road while in Cape Town, a road that led to one of the many impoverished townships 
where more than 25% of South Africans live on less than $2 a day. A place where we even witnessed children running around on the street unsupervised because their mothers were having to make a living for their family. For over 40 years, Helen Lieberman has been on a crusade for positive change and has helped build community centres for the mamas and the children of South Africa. Here we are at Masakani Center, Community Centre, and we are helping, like we really are helping, we're just taking a little break, we are trying to help clean up the centre and make it a better place for all this community and these kids and there's some orphans and there's some mamas that are coming here to learn how to take care of their kids. There'll be a senior center, a day care center, a trauma center, medical center, everything right here. See how you put it in the hole? Go, oh, look at that! I am a professional screwer. Hear me roar, baby. Making a difference one community center at a time. Wow. Well, the great volunteer work that EO members started in South Africa doesn't have to end because the Cape Town University is over. Visit the Human Doings website shown on the bottom of the screen and find out how you can help fellow EO members and entrepreneurs just like yourself as they help to rebuild more communities in South Africa. And of course, to see more Cape Town adventures from Jennifer Carroll, check out Today with J&J &J on YouTube. Now, before we say so long for today, Randall, do you have one of your motivational thoughts for us today? No, I don't. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start the year off right with this quote. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. Very nicely done. I couldn't have said it better myself. Of course you couldn't have. That's why I do. Thank you for that, Randall, pointing out the obvious. So we'll see you in two weeks. See you then. Pointing out the obvious. <laughs>